Good morning, ukulele friends. How you doing today? Um, we're going to do a quick video on changing strings. Uh, the interesting thing about you guys and ukulele strings is either you don't change them enough or you change them far too often. <laughs> um, so, I mean, me, as somebody who plays every day, um, I probably change my strings three times a year. I could probably do it a little bit more, but I'm usually too busy changing your strings. Um, and there are others of you who are always out for the perfect tone, so you're constantly changing your strings to try to find the magic sound, which I think is a, a bit of a futile gesture, um, but that's just me and my politics. Anywho, I'm gonna show you how to uh, change your strings real quick on my ukulele. I'm gonna be using our uh, strings that we have made for us that are a mixed set of uh, wound strings and uh, floral carbon on my baritone ukulele. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, uh, this is a bridge where we tie the strings on. There's a couple other kinds that could be the kind with bridge pins that push down. Um, that's a little rare in the ukulele world. There also are bridges where um, we uh, put the, the string all the way through the top of the bridge and the top, and there's a bead inside. And then there's also ones where it's just a slot with a knot underneath. Um, I'm going to show this one because this is what I use, and... Um, this is mainly for my customers to know how to change their strings. So to begin with, first thing is uh, we just get started. You think that looks violent, but don't worry about it. It's all good. It's a lot faster than the alternative. So watch the sh sharp ends of your strings back here, though. You don't want to scratch the top. Um, there's my four strings. Get those out. And up here at the headstock. Okay, so once we're through here, um, now you should know that there's a thing, the, the two terms to know here. This is the leading end and this is the working end. I'm gonna take the working end, wrap it around the leading end, and now I'm gonna give this two wraps. Do you see that? That's what we're looking for. Um, when I pull this tight, my goal is to make sure this string end is wrapped down far enough on the back of the bridge so that it's not sticking up and, and uh, poking. So then, man, it's hard to do this slowed down to show you. There we go. Much better. Okay, so that's the first knot. And then of course I'll string it up at the other end when we get there. I'll show you again for practice sake, right? There, and do you see how the knot is back on the back edge here? That's what I want. Okay, so let's uh, switch up to the tying or the um, headstock. I've got my two wand strings up here to do next. Get this one out of the way. Many of you leave too much extra string up here and you have too many wraps around the headstock and that actually causes uh, problems later on with intonation and string breakage. So before I even start, I'm gonna um, just kind of check how much slack I have. Like on this wand string, I'm only gonna leave about this much slack. Um, the unwound strings, I might do a little more. Now the goal is we want this piece to wrap above where the hole for the string comes through and below a couple times. So before I even get started, I just make my first wrap like that. So I have wrapped, like you know there's a hole going through the post. I have wrapped above the hole. Now when I start turning the peg, I'm gonna make my wraps so that now this one is below the hole. <clears throat> you, see, you can see it right there, perfect, I got it. We got above and below, okay? Now keep going around. Now when I get to this moment, I'm gonna tuck the extra end under so that the next wrap we make is gonna lock this in place. Hold it up so you can see. See that right there, how I've tucked it under? Now when we, look what happens when we turn it. Locks it in. So now we've got above, below, and a second below that locks it. And then I'll tune it up to pitch. 
this this means I don't have to tie knots up here and it takes very few wraps for a really secure way to do it knots work fine but then it takes a lot longer to take them off and it can get really twisted and without tools it's really annoying so I'm gonna do it again here first I'll get my top wrap above the hole in the post now this bottom one I'll go below it see make sure it's in the slot now it's time to tuck it in. See how it locked itself in place? Okay, so they're on there, that's a good start. Okay, so um, now that they're basically on there um, and these knots are pretty tight, I can trim off the extra here. Gotta be real careful that we don't scratch our top. If you don't have little nippers like this, you can use toenail clippers. That works pretty good, fingernail clippers. Okay, now, here's the thing. String stretch for a long time, and you guys get quite frustrated with that. You folks get quite frustrated with that. Um, so here's what I do. When I put on new strings, you see how much I'm pulling these? Now, I'm not pulling up. I'm t giving it a twist, and that twist puts enough pressure to tighten the knot and stretch the string quite a bit. So it doesn't take quite as long for me to tune up. So. So that's a close for now, it's a little above. We'll get to it later, but I mean, that's it. We gotta trim the ends at both sides, stretch them out real good and get back to playing. Um, probably takes me uh, start to finish, including several tunings, less than 10 minutes. Cheers.